Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Night Prayer for Saturday, October the 8th. It's week 7 in the Psalm Cycle, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 137, verses 1 through 6, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27, through chapter 13, verse 3. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept. Alleluia. Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and wept, remembering Zion. On the poplars that grew there, we hung up our harps. For it was there that they asked us, our captors for songs, our oppressors for joy. Sing to us, they said, one of Zion's songs. Oh, how could we sing the song of our beloved on alien soil? If I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Oh, let my tongue cleave to my mouth, if I remember you not. If I prize not Jerusalem above all my joys. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat and wept. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, beginning at verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then deeds of power, then gifts of healing, forms of assistance, forms of leadership, various kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all possess gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? But strive for the greater gifts, and I will show you still a more excellent way. If I were to speak in the tongue of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic power and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Let us pray. We give you thanks, most gracious God, for the beauty of earth and sky and sea, 
for the richness of mountains, plains, and rivers, for the songs of birds and the loveliness of flowers. We praise you for these good gifts and pray that we may safeguard them for our posterity. Grant that we may continue to grow in grateful enjoyment of your abundant creation, to the honor and the glory of your name, now and forever. Amen. O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.